This is a brief description and technique for the modified Nice knot. Professor Pascal Boileau from Nice, France, first introduced this sliding double suture loop knot for tuberosity fixation in proximal humerus fractures. The Nice knot offered excellent strength, ability to titrate fixation force, and obtain reliable tuberosity reduction. Several studies have shown the Nice knot to be biomechanically superior to many traditional open and arthroscopic knots. The Nice knot can be applied in a variety of settings. These examples illustrate provisional reduction for clavicle shafts and proximal humerus fractures. This method is especially useful in zones of combination where fragments are too small for independent screw fixation. These images show the power of Nice knot cerclage in our own cases for plate fixation in humeral allograft prosthetic composites, scapular spine fractures, and ballistic forearm fractures. The Nice knot has been used for arthroscopic repairs of the scapholunate ligament, rotator cuff, and the TFCC. We will now demonstrate a modification of the original Nice knot which permits single hand tying and eliminates the need for an assistant for suture management. Pass the double looped end of the suture. Place your thumb, index, and middle fingers in the loop. Roll your index and middle fingers into the loop. Pull the free suture tails through the loop with your index and middle fingers. Cinch in a back and forth motion to tighten and pull the suture tails apart once the knot is seated. Throw several half hitches to secure the knot. We will now demonstrate securing a plate to bone with the knee knot. Pass the double loop suture around the implant and bone and place your thumb, index, and middle fingers in the loop. Roll your index and middle fingers into the loop, grasp the free suture tails, and pull them through the loop. Cinch the knot down by pulling back and forth. Once the knot is seated, pull the suture tails apart to secure. Perform a series of half hitches to tighten the knot. We will now demonstrate the modified knee knot one more time. Again, the key step is initially placing three fingers, the thumb, index, and middle, into the loop, and then rolling the index and middle back into the loop to grasp the free suture tails. The modified knee knot provides excellent stability whether one is provisionally reducing a fracture, securing an implant to bone, or performing suture cerclage fixation. These photos simply illustrate the final appearance of multiple modified knee knots. We wish to acknowledge Dr. Basim El Hassan for his innovation in the initial knee knot modification.